Hey guys! I'm just on here to share my experience buying a dress with you guys. Um, I actually knew that Ryan was going to propose a while before he did because I was someone that was like, I feel like we need to be engaged, been together since 2008, da 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 da, and he's like, okay. So I told my mom, and we were by David's bridal one day in Peoria, and uh, it's right next to Michael's, and I was like, well, let's go in. Let's go in, and I'll just look at dresses and see if I can find anything. Um, sorry, my hand's really dry. Um, but anyway, so we went in, and this lady came up and talked to me, and she was really nice. She was the manager, and she was asking me when the date was, and I was like, well, it's not until 2014, and um, she was like, well, that's okay. We have had a couple brides come in that had dates really far out, and once you get the dress, everything else kind of falls into place. So I was like, okay. Um, and we just kept looking, and I found a couple that I liked, and, um, I was like, well, while well, we're here, let's just try them on. So I tried them on, and, uh, I, my consultant was Tammy, and she was really nice. And I was kind of apprehensive about trying on dresses because I'm not tiny, you know, I'm not a tiny girl and I was worried about how I was going to be treated because sometimes we are treated differently, um, especially by women that are smaller. Um, so I was worried about how I was going to be treated because I know that you can't put those dresses on yourself. You have to have somebody help you. Um, and I was worried if they were going to have my size, and I was worried about the price. Um, when I first met Tammy, she was very nice, so that kind of put my fears about how she was going to treat me at ease. Um, she put every dress that I pulled out on me, <laughs> even the one that barely, barely fit, she put on me. Um, it was kind of awkward at first because, like I told her, I was like, I haven't had somebody help me get dressed since I was a little kid. So, it was a little awkward at first, but, you know, it was a great experience. And I did find a dress that I really, really liked. And we did um, decide to put it on layaway. <laughs> and even though it was a clearance dress, they let me put it on layaway, which I thought was great. Um, so I got it for a great price, and I got it on layaway, which was even better. So we put that and my veil on layaway, and I think like a flower for my hair. Hey, Rocco. So, all in all, you know, if you are a bigger bride and you're nervous about um, getting a dress, I would say that, you know, that you're not alone in that. And um, it is possible to find a dress for you that looks great. Let me see if I can find my picture on my phone. Of me and my dress. I know you're in here. You got too many pictures, obviously. Like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But I'll show you the picture. Whoa. This is the dress that I ended up getting. I was very happy with it. Um, and I still am. And it really doesn't need to be altered other than the strap that goes across the back of the neck since it's a halter. Um, and it seems like David Sabartle is going to offer very um, economical prices for having it cleaned and having it um, altered. So I was excited about that. Um, but yeah, I would say that if you are a bigger bride and you are concerned, um, that that concern is well warranted. And um, it's hard to find a dress when you're not like a size 2. <laughs> and it's hard. It, it's an experience that you'll never forget picking out your wedding dress. Um, I was glad that I didn't have some of the girls that were my age. I definitely was glad that I had somebody older. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, it was, it was a great experience and I got my dress like over a year ago. So it's a little embarrassing, but yeah, I bought it like way, way in advance because I was really excited and I'm not the kind of person that changes my mind. So once I'm like, that's my dress, I'm like, that's my dress. I don't go into David's Bridal anymore. I don't look at other dresses online. I don't do this, that, and the other. That's my decision, and I'm sticking with it. Now, for the layaway, I believe she had to put 10% down, and um, we had to pay it off in 90 days. And it was really nice that it was offered on layaway. Um, and obviously you can put your dress on layaway. You can put your veil on layaway because I did. You can put your accessories on layaway. You can put your shoes on layaway, which I didn't. I didn't get shoes there. Um, my dress was so, it's like the perfect length. So I can't wear heels with it. So I get little gold flats to wear underneath it. Um, I got those for like 10 bucks at Burlington. I mean, you know me. You know I didn't pay a lot for those shoes. You know it. Um, but you can put your bridesmaid's dresses on my way. It's just very convenient. And I really liked it. And they really treated me very well throughout the whole process. They weren't like, oh, I'll put this on my way for you because you're broke. Um, it was very, very nice. The whole experience very nice but I'm glad it's over I wouldn't do it again you know I'm glad I got my dress I'm glad that's done close the book on that um but yeah that's those are some of my opinions about being a bigger bride the experience of trying on dresses and the layaway at David's Bridal um if you have any questions feel free to leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can bye guys